Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your month of July reading. We are just going to see whatever comes up. Typically my readings are love readings. We'll see whatever happens. Whatever happens, happens. This is going to be a little bit different this time. I'm going to fly by the seat of my pants and go like that. I am an intuitive reader. Yeah, I use the cards, but my intuition drives. Okay, so this is for the Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This card, these cards we don't use in reverse. You may see me flip them because I'm so used to doing that, but these cards we don't use in reverse. We will use clarifiers in reverse if they come up reversed. And this is just like a special edition. My other readings will will have reversals in them, you know. This is just a special edition with this deck. July 2018. What does Capricorn need to know? I'm going to do past, present, and future, but I'm going to, you know, bring it together. Majors. Three majors right off the bat. These are major arcanas. Okay. We have the Fool. New beginnings. We have the Judgment card and we have the Hierophant. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with an Aries. Some people say this is a Scorpio. It's, you know, it really doesn't matter. I, I don't know who the Judgment is. I don't consider us I don't consider it a Scorpio but other people do so whatever you want to do you do there is a new beginning here is you're being offered a fresh start or a new start with somebody you're being called to take a risk have faith this is have faith and this is have faith okay believe in yourself believe in this path that is unfolding in front of you okay whatever is happening is meant to happen all right, it is. This is the judgment card. So it is meant to happen. Um, we have the three of wands. The two of pentacles. The seven of wands. Oh, the tower. Lovely. The Eight of Pentacles, and the Crown Chakra, okay? This is past, present, future, but I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to bring it together, okay? Um, so, it appears that you guys are being offered, or you have been offered, a new beginning with somebody. And, you know, this is your opportunity to fly. It's your opportunity to step outside of your comfort zone. It's your opportunity to go on a new journey without bringing a lot with you. You know, it's like starting over fresh. It's like a fresh new start is being offered to you, Capricorn. You know, an opportunity that perhaps you've been preparing for this opportunity. Maybe you saw this opportunity coming. There's an opportunity for a partnership and there's an opportunity to work together with another person, to work closely, you know, to see eye to eye. To eye. And I believe that you could see eye to eye with this person. There, This is a, some sort of blessing that you are being offered, but you may not see it as a blessing. You may be scared of it, okay, because we have this tower right here. You may feel like this is false. You may feel like this is a... Um, only going to lead to some sort of upheaval. It's only going to lead to some sort of disruption if I, if I, if I follow my impulses. Because the new beginning, the fool is very impulsive. Okay, so you know you may feel like if you were if you take this leap of faith and act impulsively, it's only going to lead to disaster. I mean that's your fear. That is your fear. You do have an opportunity to work together with another person and have a new beginning whether you choose to do that or not that's definitely going to be your free will but you definitely have this fear of disruption okay i see that clearly 
in the present, I believe that whoever you're dealing with is being honest with you. They're telling you the truth, okay? You're dealing with an honest person because we have that judgment card, which is truth. It feels like there is, you know, there's a new door opening for you, okay? There's a new door opening with you, for you. You have an opportunity to go through the door or not go through the door. This is a two of wands. You have the opportunity to stay right where you're at, right where you're at, or to take a chance, okay? Take a chance and trust trust okay what's it gonna be do you trust can you accept can you accept this chance that you're being offered right now can you go through that door um, right now you're probably sitting on the fence you're at a crossroads you don't know whether to stay you don't know whether to go you don't know what to do you're feeling pretty indecisive about it but you have to make a decision so I feel like this month you are probably going to be faced with a decision whether to give somebody a chance and and start this new beginning with them or not do do you want it or not you somebody actually could want a reconciliation because that judgment card can signify a reconciliation so you know you maybe you know who this person is and you're skeptical if they're being honest with you i'm just saying what i what i see i think that you could be dealing with a person that has been done done a lot of hard work okay because here we have the Eight of Pentacles, positive movement forward. So perhaps somebody has made a decision to work hard on changing changing themselves, letting go of their past ways because the, the judgment is releasing the past So and, and then getting another chance. So perhaps somebody that you are dealing with has done some work to release and... and uh, Maybe they want another chance. I just have to tell you that, okay? Um, forgiveness is needed. The judgment card is also about forgiveness. So keep that in mind. Somebody may be off asking for forgiveness, or maybe that's even you, okay? The judgment card is also a karma card. So there could be some karma playing out this month, okay? Either way, you're going to have to make some sort of decision, okay? You're going to have to make a choice in, to re in regards to... Do you want to go have this fresh start or not? Do you want it or not? You're going to have to make a decision, okay? <clears throat> so, in the future, it's about having faith. It's about believing. That's the Hierophant up there. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be, like I already said, I already said all this. But anyway, um, this is about having faith. It's about believing. It's about... Um, stepping back and listening to your inner guide. Are you listening to your inner guide? What is your inner guide trying to tell you? Because you have to make a major decision with those three majors right on that top row. It's major. You've got to make a major decision. Do you want this, this opportunity? Do you want to take this chance or not? Or do you? Because that is, that's, the, that's the question of the month, okay? Now, you may have felt with that seven of wands that you've, you've had to be defensive in the past. You've had to defend yourself. You know, and maybe you need to explain to whoever this person is that what your ideals are and what you're looking for and what your path is because it feels like you know what your path is. That crown chakra is I know. I know. Okay? It's the uh, source of wisdom. Okay? So we have wisdom here. You've gained a lot of wisdom. You have. You have. You have. You have wisdom here and wisdom here. You've gained. You, you have gained like some sort of higher consciousness both of these cards okay it's like you you kind of or you do know you do know that you know you have to follow your own path you know that you have to believe in yourself you know that you're you see things pretty clearly okay you know that when you're worried about something there's a reason for it you know what i mean you trust your instincts pretty well you you're very um, in tune with who you are, put it that way. So it feels as though, you know, maybe you get this new offer to go down this new path with whoever it is. Um, and you just have to let them know, you know, what you're, where you're going, what, what, where you're at, who you are, um, where your boundaries are set. You know, what your, if I can talk tonight, we'll be lucky, what your boundaries are. Okay, you probably have to, you know, set your boundaries up and say, you know what? Okay, 
you know, if I'm going to give you a chance, this is how it's going to be. You know, I'm not going to put up with this. I'm not going to put up with that. Blah, 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 blah. You know, if it's somebody that's coming back, okay? If it's somebody new that's offering you a new beginning, maybe you set boundaries right from the beginning to let them know who you are. You know, you let them know, this is who I am. I'm not changing my path. This is my path. This is who I am. You know, maybe you set those boundaries right from the get-go this month. I do feel like this is divinely guided, whatever this connection is. Sevens are the number from heaven, and we have those majors, okay? And so I feel like you are being, and this is divinely guided as well. So you are being divinely guided to perhaps take a risk, okay? Because, you know, here we have this. Take a risk. Go through the door, Okay, what is your inner guide telling to you to do? Is your inner guide telling you that this is going to be okay? There's an opportunity for a new beginning here with somebody that <sighs> wants you to give them a chance. Now, I don't know if this is somebody completely new. It could be. It could be somebody completely new or it could be somebody that you have been with before because that judgment card can be a reconciliation. Okay, so I'm going to get some clarifiers here and see what comes up. Who is this new beginning with, anyway? That's what we want to know. Uh, is it a Taurus? Are you dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn? Taurus, Taurus. So I'm not sure if it's a Taurus. It could be an Aquarius. Could be uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It feels as though you have you don't really have faith in this person, or, or they don't have faith in you. Somebody doesn't have faith, you know, because that star reversed and that hair font reversed. That's loss of faith, some or lack of faith. You may have lack of faith in somebody, or lack of faith in any new beginning. Period. You may feel like whoever comes into your life is only out to harm you because the King of Swords reversed is somebody that's out to harm you, somebody that's a bully, somebody that's intense, somebody that's manipulative. You may fear that or you may know this person is or they have been in the past. Maybe in the past this person really hurt you and that's why you don't have faith if you've been with this person before. You know, I'm not sure who it is, but it feels like you, you know, you would have to go in this like with, with blind faith at this point because, you know, they, they, it didn't lead to wish fulfillment before. So why should I believe that it's going to this time, you know? So there is a, there is a, a, a lack of faith here, but you are being called to take a risk. Okay. Because that is take a risk. The fool card is take a risk. So I think that the, you're really scared to take a risk because it didn't work out before. Whether it didn't work out with this person or didn't, your last relationship didn't work out. Some, some sort of situation didn't work out before and now you are afraid of being hurt again. Period. You're being called to take a risk and have faith. I mean, that's what this says. Forgive the past. This is forgiveness is needed. The, the judgment card. You need, to, you need to forgive. You need to forgive. It's only harming you. You are harming yourself by not forgiving. And I know somebody's going to say, Oh, I can forgive, but I can't forget. Then you haven't forgiven. And I'm, that's because you said it. Forgive and forget. Easier said than done, eh? There's an opportunity for success here. There's an opportunity for success. If you're somebody is, if somebody in this dynamic is willing to shed their old ways, because that's what the magician does to bring success, they shed their old ways. This person, 
whoever it is that's coming in and wants a fresh start, whether whether it's a new person or it's somebody that has a bad reputation or who knows what it is, somebody is not the person that they used to be, okay? Because somebody has changed. Somebody is is has taken steps and taken the the action to make positive changes in their life somebody has found their power they've they have a divine connection now you know they've they've as above so below they've become one with the universe they've they've changed so whether it's you or the, or this person that's coming into your life whether it's somebody new that you know whatever whether they have a bad reputation or they you they were with you before whatever the case is somebody ha is not the person that they used to be and you are you could be 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 if i can say this be being called to shed your old ways it works both ways right as above so below just saying stand your ground basically this is saying that you know you need to communicate you need to tell you need to set boundaries set boundaries right from the beginning boundaries 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 you know this is basically telling me to give somebody a chance but make sure you set up those boundaries whoever you're dealing with is is very nurturing very abundant, very caring, very loving, very beautiful, very kind. Um, this person, uh, this person is, well, this is the Empress. She is ruled by Venus, which is Taurus and Libra. So you, you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. You know, you could, there's, there's other signs here too, but Taurus and Libra are pretty darn prominent here. Okay, um, especially Taurus. So it feels like we do have Gemini as well. We have uh, Aquarius too a couple times. So we do have, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, both twice, all of them. And we have Taurus three times. So, you know, whatever. I mean, it could be either one. It doesn't really matter. The fact of the matter is, is you're dealing with a person that is, is very beautiful, beautiful in all aspects okay beautiful person man or woman and it feels as though you may you may be very conflicted about letting this person into your life you may feel like there's something going on you don't know about that this person has secrets you know what I mean you may feel like I know because I know that I don't know I know that I don't know everything about this person you know what I mean it's like I know that this person has secrets I know there's something going on behind the scenes I know that there's some sort of dishonesty here maybe that's how you're feeling or this can be escaping the truth because this is ruled the moon is ruled by Pisces okay and the moon is very um very it's a, it's like an element of confusion and mystery and um escapism wanting to escape so escape commitment you know, escape any chains, you know, not be tied down. Somebody may want escape reality, escape the real situation. So it feels as though you may be feeling like somebody isn't telling you the truth. This can't, this can't be true. This can't be true. But. This right here, this Eight of Pentacles, is somebody has worked really hard to make changes. They have. But you may be stalling. You may be stalling this whole process while you're trying to 
figure it out while you're observing. You probably go through a period of observing this person, observing who they are, trying to figure out what the hell's going on, who they really are. You're trying to figure out what who they are. What are they hiding from me? they got to be hiding for something because this is too good to be true. You know, so I think that you're probably trying to observe this person that wants this beginning with you to figure out who they really are, what they're up to, what kind of secrets they have. What are, you, what are you hiding from me? You know, you may not come right out. Now, you may come right out and ask that. You may. I, that could happen. Because, I, I I mean, I can see that it could. But you may just try to figure it out behind the scenes, too. You may just try to figure out what this person is hiding behind the scenes. Because you, you strongly feel like something ain't right. Um... Yeah, you feel like somebody has secrets. There's no doubt about it. You've been lied to before. You've been lied to. And there could be some secrets here, okay? In the past, there's been secrets. We're in the past section now. There's been disruption in the past in, re in a partnership because there was some secrets. There was. And now you lack courage and you lack confidence and strength to get involved again. But somebody has worked really, really hard on changing their ways. And they want another chance. Somebody wants a chance with you. There's been, uh, there's been a drop in communication. And now they want another chance. They want you to to see what they have to offer. Just give them a chance. And you're worried. Very, very worried about it. You're like, you know, I just don't know. I don't know. But this could be an opportunity of a lifetime. This person could be your soulmate. There's an unexpected choice in love that's probably going to be presented to you this month with somebody that you know, okay? Somebody that you know. It's either somebody that you dated or somebody with a bad reputation. And you're trying to figure out if you should let them in or not. I believe this, this person appears to have changed, appears, and they want a second chance. Or they want a chance with you. If, it, if it's the person with the bad reputation, I don't know. Somebody wants a chance. And you are being called to take a risk and have faith. I mean, you are. Those first three, first three cards pretty much say it all. They do. Okay, you're being called. This is a fool. Take a risk and have faith. Somebody is telling the truth. They're trying to. They are telling the truth, whether you accept it or not. That's a whole other story. Have faith. Try to believe. That's so hard, isn't it? So anyway, this is what I have, Capricorn, for July. There's an unexpected choice in love with somebody that could be your soulmate, but you're probably trying to figure out what the hell they got up their sleeve. Because you don't need any disasters in your life. Talk to you later.